the Indian Air Force is set to strengthen its aerial refueling capability after the Ministry of Defense cleared procurement of six Boeing 767-based MMTT aircraft. Valued at rupees 9,000 crore, the program will convert pre-owned airframes through Israel Aerospace Industries and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The new tankers will replace aging IL-78s, expanding operational reach and endurance. Final approval is expected by March 2026, with phased inductions beginning from 2030. India is strengthening its air defense with the induction of passive coherent location radar into a national anti-stealth detection grid. Operating without emissions, PCLR exploits civilian FM signals to silently detect stealth aircraft, making it immune to anti-radiation missiles and jamming. Integrated with VHF and long-range radars, it enhances tracking confidence through sensor fusion. Ongoing trials mark a key step toward a resilient, layered air surveillance network against next-generation aerial threats. India's indigenous advanced towed artillery gun system has been formally christened UMOG, meaning infallible, signaling its transition to operational service. Displayed during Army Day rehearsals, the naming reflects the Army's confidence in the 155mm gun's combat readiness. With record ranges beyond 48 kilometers and advanced automation, UMOG is among the world's most capable artillery systems. Its induction marks a major at Minerva Bharat milestone and validates India's public-private defense manufacturing model. Indian security forces swung into action after multiple suspected drones crossed into Jammu and Kashmir along the LOC and international border. Sightings in Poonch and Rajuri sectors prompted counter-drone measures and gunfire, forcing the intruders to retreat. Surveillance has been intensified across vulnerable stretches. The incident comes a day after a major arms cache was seized in Samba, raising fears of cross-border smuggling. Security agencies are probing links between drone activity and infiltration attempts. DRDO has confirmed that more test firings of the K-4 submarine launch ballistic missile are planned this year, before its formal induction. While earlier launches proved the missile's maturity, firings from India's newest SSBNs, INS Aritaman and INS Arizudan, are still pending. These tests will certify platform, missile integration on extended hull submarines, ensuring reliable launch performance. The cautious approach underlines India's commitment to a credible and robust sea-based nuclear deterrent. After inducting Israel's Air Laura missile in limited numbers, the Indian Air Force is now exploring options for local production, alongside the Rampage missile validated in Operation Sindor. Air Laura offers a unique air-launched, quasi-ballistic precision strike capability against hardened targets. With both systems now operationally proven, Planners see indigenous manufacturing as a way to scale numbers, cut costs, and secure supplies during crises. Integrated production would strengthen India's long-range conventional strike options and advance at Minerva Bharat goals. India has achieved a major milestone in secure communications, as Oli.Space successfully demonstrated a 20-kilometer 10 gigabits per second wireless laser communication system built largely with indigenous technology. Designed and tested entirely in India, the system uses high-precision optomechanical stabilization to maintain reliable links under challenging conditions. Offering high data rates, low detectability, and immunity to interference, optical wireless communication is ideal for modern military networks. The achievement highlights India's growing deep tech ecosystem and strengthens at Minerva Bharat by enabling secure, high-capacity communications for future defense, ISR, and network-centric warfare operations. Data Patterns has publicly unveiled its Hawk 900 ASA gallium nitride radar without the radome at the Aeronautics 2047 seminar in Bengaluru, offering a rare look at India's indigenous radar core. The exposed array shows a dense, modular GAN-based architecture with advanced thermal management and segmented design for reliability. 
it scales suggests medium to long-range surveillance and tracking roles. The transparent display highlights growing confidence in India's private defense sector and reflects major progress in mastering high-end AESA radar technologies. G Aerospace is set to deliver 20 F404 IN20 engines to India in the 2026-27 financial year, boosting House Tejas MK1A production. After prolonged supply chain delays, engine deliveries are now stabilizing, with 10 units expected by March 2026. From 2026 to 27 onwards, annual supplies are planned to rise to 24 engines, enabling HAL to manufacture up to 30 fighters a year. The move supports the IAF's modernization drive, strengthens India-US defense ties, and lays the groundwork for future F-414 engine co-production for Tejas MK2. As the Indian Air Force modernizes, Experts warn against over-reliance on a single supplier like Dassault's Rafale. A diversified fleet can reduce geopolitical risks, ease supply chain pressures, and cut costs. A phased Rafale order, tied to technology transfer and source code access, would strengthen indigenous integration. Complementing this with Russian platforms such as the Su-57E and upgraded Su-30 MKIs could deliver nearly 170 new fighters affordably. This balanced approach boosts squadron strength, enhances self-reliance, and ensures the IAF remains flexible, resilient, and future-ready amid evolving regional threats. That's all for now. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.